Never take this medicine if you have diabetes. I'll come back to my channel. We talk about health, wellness, and everything in between. Now, if you or someone you know has diabetes, but I'm sure you do because this is a diabetes channel, you have probably heard a lot about the importance of taking vitamins, and from me too. But did you know that there is one vitamin you should never take if you have diabetes? It is niacin. It's also a medicine, also known as B3. While it has a lot of benefits for most people, for those with diabetes, it can actually do more harm than good if taking more than recommended dose. Now, most supplements you will use will have a lot of niacin in them that will raise your blood sugar levels. In this video, we will dive into the reasons why excessive niacin can be dangerous for people with diabetes and how much is excessive and what you can do to make sure you are getting the right vitamins and minerals without putting your health at risk. So grab your pen and the paper. Let's get started. Niacin or vitamin B3 is a special vitamin that our body actually needs. It is found in many foods like fruits, vegetables, and meat. Sometimes it's even added to certain food products. And we can also find it in dietary supplements. When we eat foods with niacin, our body changes it into a helpful ingredient called NAD. NAD works with over 400 enzymes in our body, which is more than any other vitamin. Impressive, right? It also has a sibling called NADP that helps out in different ways. Both NAD and NADP are like superheroes that help our body's cells do their important jobs. NAD, for example, helps turn the food we eat into energy, while NADP helps our body build things like cholesterol and fatty acids, which we actually need. Plus, NADP makes sure that our cells stay strong by fighting off bad things called antioxidants, which diabetics have plenty of. Now, niacin plays a big part in making sure our body works properly. It helps our cells to function and keeps our skin, hair, and eyes healthy. But how do we know if we have enough niacin in our bodies? Well, scientists can check the niacin status of a person by looking at their urine. If there is the right amount of niacin-related substances in the pee, then we know our niacin levels are good. But what happens if we don't have or don't get enough niacin? That is when we might start feeling unwell. People with low niacin levels might feel tired, they may have bad digestion, or even develop red rashes on their skin. Yikes, right? It's super important that we keep our niacin levels good. Luckily, there are many yummy foods that are great sources of niacin, and some examples are, like I said, the meat, the chicken, tuna, turkey, peanuts, mushrooms, and even some, you know, cereals, but I don't recommend them. So next time you are eating your favorite meal, remember the niacin power in it. B3 vitamin that seems to be both a blessing and a curse. Why? Well, it can actually raise your good cholesterol, but that does not really matter if it doesn't do anything to lower your risk of heart disease. That was studied. People used to take them a lot because it improves your good cholesterol. But when you improve the good cholesterol with a medication, it doesn't always help, such as in this case. So some may tout its benefits for people with diabetes, but the fact that it raises fasting glucose levels, which is a big problem for a lot of people. Maybe it is time we all take a step back and reassess our love affair with niacin. Or maybe we should just stick to getting our B3 from actual food sources. Just a thought, right? 
So be warned though, my friends, there is a fine line between getting enough of this vitamin and becoming sugar rush waiting to happen. So you will need at least 1500 milligram of niacin to lower your cholesterol levels. But if you are taking anything less than 100 milligram a day, you should be safe. So if you're taking more than 1500 milligram, you will be in trouble, even more than a thousand sometimes. Personally, I don't even like 500 milligram niacin. My cutoff is 100 milligrams a day. So go for and enjoy your oats, your nuts, your poultry in moderation, just like any other healthy food, right? And if you're on sugar MD diet vitamin, you are even in a better position. You know, at sugarmds.com, people love it, people buy it, and they feel more energetic, and they love it. And it has a little bit of a niacin so that you don't go overboard. But until next video, let me tell you, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.